Hey, what's up guys? I know a lot of you are subscribers to me because of my Mac videos, uh, my PowerBook G4 videos, my Mac Mini, and MacBook videos. So today I have another video for you guys, and this is my Mac Mini G4 that I got for free from work. So stay tuned for that. See you soon. So here she is. This is my Mac Mini G4 that I got for free from work. As you can see, they left it in pretty good condition for me. Uh, the metal around the outside is near mint, and the polycarbonate top just has a couple of scratches on it. But otherwise, it looks fantastic, and it runs fantastic. If you can hear it, I'm going to put it right next to it. Uh, the whole thing is, the fan is kind of starting on right now. But overall, most of the time it stays pretty quiet if that's an interest to you. So right now it's running OS X 10.4 Tiger. And I was going to buy um, Mountain Mine, no, not Mountain Mine. I was going to buy Leopard for it. But I decided against it simply because it's just uh, not worth it for the system. I'm actually just going to sell it. Uh, so... As you can see here, it has version 10.4.11, 1.5 GHz PowerPC G4, 512 megabytes of RAM. So this is the very final um, Mac Mini G4 model. Um, the people who bought it bought it right before the Intel Mac Minis, which is kind of a bummer because I could have gotten one of those free instead of this crapper. But uh, honestly, it's more than a crapper. I shouldn't have said that because... Um, it's running at a 1080p monitor resolution, which I believe is its max resolution. And as you can see, when you're moving windows around, it actually does a decent job of keeping the frames up. Um, it's connected to my Wi-Fi right now, which is a N router. I must be going back to, to the G router technology for it to, com to be compatible. But as you can see, internet is kind of slow on it, but overall it's, it's completely usable. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by it. iTunes opens up. Um, in a couple of clicks and a big wait after that. This is my first time opening it on here. But yeah, it's definitely still a fun little device that you can still be used. Um, as you can see, it's it's running kind of the old style apps, obviously, so that's on Tiger. But with an upgrade to Leopard that this machine can absolutely do, I can imagine that it would be an even better device. Next thing I kind of want to talk about in here was like the media capabilities of it. So I have my 2006 Mac Mini here. Uh, this is a uh, one that I installed a Core 2 Dual CPU in that can run Lion if I hack it up to that, but right now it's just running Snow Leopard. I'll do a video on it later, so stay tuned for that. But as you can see, it has this thing right here for the Apple remote. So you can do the front row software and play DVDs and stuff with it. So this Mac Mini uh, is the 2000, late 2005 model with the 1.5 gigahertz CPU but it doesn't have the, the little black remote thing like this one does. So it can't do like, like the capabilities with the Apple remote, but it does have the DVD drive so you can play DVDs from it. So combine that with the 80 gigabyte hard drive, uh, this could be a decent um, home theater PC for you if you want to save, save money um, with that. But I can't recommend it because the Intel ones are so much cheaper these days. And you can put in like a 500 gigabyte hard drive like mine has in it, which would give it a lot more capability. But yeah, for that use, the Mac Mini is actually a good little device. But besides that, um, you have a surprisingly fast desktop here, which you can kind of browse the internet on, uh, install 10.4 Fox and get some better, uh, more modern browsing performance. And overall, really a decent computer. So that's about all I have to say about this. But I knew you guys were out there. Uh, there's a lot of PowerPC uh, Mac enthusiasts that liked my PowerBook G4 video. So I thought I'll get this video uploaded too, just for the heck of it. Um, and yeah, I've, I've been seriously impressed by this little guy. Sometimes it really slows down and, and lags down. But the machine runs very quietly. It browses the internet quite impressively. And Tiger is surprisingly a gorgeous user interface. I mean... It's just, I can't believe how much further ahead OS X was uh, than like Windows XP of the same time period. It's just beautiful to work with. So, yeah. So in conclusion, uh, I think that this is a fantastic little machine. Uh, if you are needing it for like a home theater purpose, or if you just want to have a little Mac with a tiger on it for the heck of it, um, or if you have a, a kid in elementary school or something that just wants or needs the basic web capabilities, or you can install Word 2004 on here and just give them that computer. And it's just a good basic computer. It's surprisingly good. 
So yeah, I think that's about all for this one. Uh, they sell for like $50 on eBay. I think I mentioned that before. But it's it's a decent computer for that, for sure. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video again. And please like or dislike and subscribe if you like stuff like this. So have a good one, guys. Thank you.